Ever since Phaeton, oh hell, I'm starting again. <laughs> Ever since Satan fell out with his buddy God, he's been going around picking up members for his evil squad, tempting men to sin, consigning them to hell. Always in the market for souls men want to sell. He's taken many earthly forms. A lot of times, vampires, mummies, werewolves. Frankensteins who are ironically afraid of fires. I've killed Satan a bunch of times, which is why I am a hero. Right now, the score is Dalton a lot and Satan's forces zero. But now he is a game show host and candidate for honorary mayor. To defeat the evil within this man will take much more than prayer. And he has a supreme commander, a shape-shifting ventriloquist dummy. <laughs> he could take the form of water, a hairbrush, or a mummy. His name is Golly. And you might think he's as evil as it gets. But if that's your bet, then you, sir, are not good at making bets. <laughs> for there is another, a supreme commander to this supreme commander, a theatrical director who speaks with a voice like a Black & Decker electric sander. Don DeBello, Satan's boss's boss, has amassed a deadly force, which is why I've ridden to the rescue atop my tallest horse. With six guns ablaze and I ride out from the west, a stake of wood down my pant leg to plunge into your chest. My horse's hoofs land on the turf a thundering like a bomb, and you must buy your wife at least as much jewelry as you buy your horse and other poems and observations, humorous and otherwise from a life on the range is now available as an audiobook at audible.com. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Holy cow. That really sets the scene. A real call to arms, that poem.